In this video, we will see how to install and use LabelMe. LabelMe is a very popular image annotation tool. It is mainly used for segmentation tasks. To install LabelMe, we need a Python environment. Instead of installing base Python for machine learning and deep learning tasks, we usually install Anaconda distribution which comes with many pre-installed python packages there is also a light version of the anaconda distribution that is miniconda in this video we will install miniconda before installing label me so let's see how to install miniconda first we need to download miniconda for that in your browser search for miniconda In the search result, you will find miniconda-anaconda that is under anaconda.com. Click on this link. Now we are in anaconda.com website. You can read the getting started uh, manual installation guides. But we will go to the download link directly. Let's click on the download button. Now we are in the download. Here you can write your email and submit to start download. But we can also skip this registration part. Let's click on the skip registration. Now here you will find the download button for Anaconda installers. And if you go down, you will find the Miniconda installers. Since uh, now I am in a Windows PC. So I'll download the Python 3.12 that is the latest version for Windows. Let's click on the 64-bit graphical installer. You can see that our download has been started. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. The download has been finished. If we click on this, we can see that let's go to the download folder here our miniconda 3 latest version is downloaded since this is exe file we can directly double click and run let's let's do that it will start the installer let's click on the next button and then I agree. Here you can see just me or all users. Then next. Now we need to defend the distribution folder. We can change the folder, but usually it's better to keep in the default location. Let's click on the next. Now in this screen we have some options. This is for create shortcut. It is already uh, tick marked. Let's check this box. Uh, uh, for the second option, it is add miniconda3 to my path environment variable. This is not recommended. So let's keep it. And the third one is register miniconda as my default Python 3.13. It is recommended because uh, if we check this, other programs such as VS Code, Python can easily detect miniconda 3 as primary pattern and uh, last option is clear the package case upon completion it is also recommended so let's check this and click on install The setup process was completed successfully. Let's click on the next button. And finish. Now Miniconda is installed. Let's open the Anaconda prompt from start menu. Now 
now let's create a new environment to install label me for that we need to write conda create dash n and name of our environment let's name it label me and enter A new environment is being created. Let's proceed. Press Y and enter. Our environment has been created. Now let's activate it with Conda. Activate level me and enter. Now you can see that our level me environment. Uh, environment is activated and it is written here now we will install level me from conda force for that let's write the code conda install dash c conda dash force and level me let's enter is collecting our packages press y and enter to proceed now it is downloading and extracting our packages Now to start our application, we need to write only label me here. And enter. There is an error. It shows that no Qt bindings could be found. That means we need to install any Qt library. Now let's install PyQt. For this we need to write conda install by qt it will download the latest qt version by qt version from conda repository press enter press y and enter to proceed now it's downloading and extracting the packages needed for PyQt. We can see another error here. Maybe this is because we tried to install PyQt from Conda repository. Let's try to install PyQt from Conda Force. Let's write Conda install Conda Force. And PyQt. Let's see what happens. Now PyQt is installed without any error. Now let's try to open 
Laravel. Here we have successfully installed and opened Laravel.me. Now to open an image for annotation, we can use this open button. We can also use file open menu for that. Let's click on the button and click one image and open. The image size is really very big, so it takes some time to load. We can zoom in and zoom out by pressing the control button on the keyboard and middle scroll button on our mouse. We can also change the percentage from here. And we can go left or top down using the scroll bars. But we can also use our mouse middle scroll button to go up and down. And if we click on the alt button of keyboard and scroll button of mouse, then it will go left and right. Now to start our polygon annotation, we can click on this create polygon. Let's zoom a little bit and we can make the polygon. And name it as ship. Okay. Our polygon level is added here. Now let's go on the next one. And it is already added, so press OK. And if you want to do other type of annotation like rectangle, circle and other things, just right click and create rectangle. And you can create rectangular annotation. And Also, circular annotation from create circle. Cancel. If you want to delete uh, any shape uh, before saving, then you can press ESC button, escape button of the keyboard. And make a circular annotation. Okay. And also there are some other annotation line, point, line strip. And if you want to edit the polygon, you can click this button and click any polygon and move any vertices. Now when you are done with your annotation, just click on save and it will open the menu where you can save. Let's name It is already added the name of the image, so we can save. And it, the annotation is saved. Now, if we want to do multiple image annotation, then instead of open, we can select the open directory. And then select the folder. 
all the images from that directory will be added here since this image is already annotated so we can go to the next image let's make some notation in this image create polygon we are doing rough annotation but when you will do it for any deep learning purpose just try to be as precise as possible okay now let's save it save and next image let's also make some annotation and press next image it will auto automatically ask you to save then click save and save now you can see that three images have been annotated here it is checkmarked and if we do not want to manually save each image we can ask level me to save automatically so click on this save automatically button and you will see the save button is disabled that means the image will automatically be saved let's try it is very handy when you do a lot of image annotation Every time you do not have to save manually. And press next. Our previous image is saved. Here you can see that that one is ticked. So if we you want to go back to any image you can also click here to open that image and also if you want to edit the polygons you can use this menu also and suppose we are zoom very much so we want to make our image to fit into into the screen we can go this menu and fit work now the image is fitted in our screen to see the whole image this way you can easily annotate your images with polygons for segmentation task thanks for watching